Okay, hello, seventh period. Um, this is what we didn't get to in class. So, sorry about that. Um, this is page two in your packet that I mailed home. Um, it's also, I'll like post it with this posting as well. So this is page two. Oops, page two. Um, and we are being asked to evaluate each function. So these are all functions. We've kind of talked about that today. Um, and so really quick, evaluate means something specific in math. Evaluate. So that means you're going to plug in a number. Plug in a number for x or for the variable, but we'll say x here today. And then you're going to simplify. Simplify, simplify, simplify. So that's like PEMDAS. So we're not solving here today. We're evaluating. Okay, I know. So we have three functions. They're written in function notation. Um, so that's the other thing I guess I want to say. f of x is function notation. And so we'll see that a lot this year, function notation. Or you, we have seen it. It's the same as as y equals. Okay, so um, we're given an input, and so it's sort of like our vending machine, um, where like we have an input and we're gonna find the output. So our input for part a is negative two, so x equals negative two. I have a linear function, so I'm gonna input x where I see x. So when I go to write, and I'm gonna actually zoom in just for a second, I think that should be okay, hopefully. Um, when I zoom in, we can have more space. All right, so I'm gonna say f of negative two equals three times negative two minus seven. That's a seven. So then I'm gonna simplify. So here's that step, that simplify step. So let's do it in blue. So negative six minus seven, which I think is negative 13. So then we're going to write it as one statement here. f of negative 2 equals negative 13. Final statement. I like to put a box around math. Sometimes people don't like that. So um, I kind of want this actually to be like over here. <laughs> so, okay. So our input is negative 2. And then our output is negative 13. So we have an input and an output. So like y would equal negative 13, just for the record. Yeah? Okay, all right, well. Uh, for part B, we have a decimal, so that's okay. So I'm gonna take 0 0.5 and I'm actually gonna plug it into the top, into my numerator, as well as the denominator. So that's a little bit more work. Uh, generally fractions, you know, how they are. So f of 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 plus 2. And then I'm going to simplify 0 0.5, that's 2.5. And then you are going to use a calculator. I'm asking how many times 2.5 can fit into 0.5 and it's not a lot. Only part of it fits. So on your calculator you're going to, you're going to enter that. Our final statement is that it fits in 0 0.2 times, right? So that's my calculation. So then what that means is that we have this ordered pair, 0 0.5 comma 0 0.2. So y would equal 0 0.2. It's my output. Yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do, I want green. All right, so this is a square root or a, a radical function. Um, we looked at these earlier this year. So I'm going to plug 10 in 4x. And these are generally going to be like nicer, you know, equations. I mean, this one's the fraction one was kind of gross, but generally they're going to be okay. Uh, 10 minus 1. So I'm going to simplify. That's 9. I'm just going to take the positive version here because... Um, remember that our radical function looks like this. It's like two. Yeah. 
Um, so then what that means is that I have 10 comma 3. So my y value is 3. My output is 3. Yeah? Okay, not too bad, right? And hopefully this is review. Um, I mean, technically it is, but you know how math you know how math is. So the other thing um, that I forgot to send you, and I feel really bad about it actually, is a function machine. So I'm going to draw one real quick. I like this kind where it kind of looks like some weird, you know, robot thing. <laughs> so here is your input. You put something in. Usually it's X or it's, you know, the independent variable. We talked about that today. So that could be time. It's the Beyonce of Destiny's Child. And then you're getting your output. So that is your Y. Or uh, in this case, it's F of X, but. Those are interchangeable. And then you have something in the middle, right? You have your equation. You have your rule. You have your function. Rule, function. Those are all interchangeable. So then, um, for example, let's change colors. We had, for example, we had like f of x equals x minus 1. So you're going to put in a number. So we put in 10. And then we're going to output 3. Yeah? So I like run it through this, this like machine, so to speak. Yeah? Okay. Well, seventh period, that's for you. Um, and I hope that you have a good day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and hopefully I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> Let me know if I did. Okay. Bye.